stay where you used to. I require more, better than we ever had before. Gonna be hard, though I couldn't blame, blame, blame. Basic bottom troll, what do you want greater? I am no wave, be surfing. I had to put my hoops on today. I haven't worn big hoops in a minute. I'm telling y'all, big hoops will never go out of style for me. I love them, okay? I was looking back at some of my old videos like, girl, we wore a hoop in a minute. So today we are gonna be installing this gorgeous wig from Wow African Hair. This is their Yaki straight wig. It is a 13 by six inch HD lace frontal wig. It comes with a pre-plucked hairline, bleach knots, and the parting space on this wig is unreal, y'all. When I tell you that their HD lace blends, like that baby melts into your skin, okay? You do not have to wear baby hairs with Wild African wigs if you don't want to because your wig is going to literally look like it's growing out of your scalp. I mean, I could clock a wig from anywhere, but y'all get what I'm saying. Like, it is as melted as it possibly can be in 4K, okay? Get into this. I wanna give a huge thank you to Wild African for sponsoring today's wig install for y'all. So this yaki textured wig feels amazing. It comes layered. So this would look super good if you like blow it out with a hair dryer that has a round brush attachment on it. I couldn't find mine. So I used my flat iron. She's still super cute. Don't get it twisted. Like I cannot stop running my hands through this hair. And I love the fact that this wig comes layered. It just adds extra something to the wig other than it just being a long, yakky wig this baby is 20 inches long but as you can see she's still giving some good length she stops right under the boob area I'm definitely feeling this wig y'all if you would like to see how I installed her today y'all already know what to do definitely keep watching so let's go ahead and unbox this wig from Wow African hair y'all inside of the box it has the satin bag with your wig inside. And then it also has some freebies on the bottom. So as far as your freebies, they come in this bag right here. It comes with this HD wig cap, an edge brush, a rat tail comb, two wig clips, and a satin scarf that says Wow African on it. So let's go ahead and unpackage the wig. The wig does come inside of this plastic bag right here. And then your wig does come packaged inside of this wig netting. Here's a close up of the natural texture of the hair, y'all. This is a yaki straight layered wig and it is 20 inches long, y'all. So here is a close up of the frontal. It is on a 13 by six inch lace frontal. It does have have a pre-plucked hairline with bleach knots as you can see it looks really nice and natural y'all so here is the inside of the cap is 13 inches across of the lace and it's six inches back as you can see you get a ton of parting space the inside of the cap has three wig combs in the front two on each side one in the middle and then we have one wig comb in the back as well as this adjustable elastic band strap so while Africans wigs always blend in really nicely with my hairline, it is HD lace. I'm gonna go ahead and put my foundation under the lace on this wig. I haven't been doing that lately, but I wanna do that today because I want this install to be really nice and laid. So I went ahead and added my foundation under the lace. As you can see, it's nice and tinted to my skin tone now. And now we're gonna go ahead and install the wig. It is nice and snug, y'all. I just love the way that Wow African wigs fit across the hairline. It just looks so good straight out of the box. Like, look at that. And it's like they already combed the hair back. So it's super easy for you to install the wig without the hairs getting all in the way. So we're gonna go ahead and cut around the ear tab area, y'all. I'm just gonna take my comb here and that is where we're going to cut. I'm gonna pull this hair out the way then I'm gonna take my eyebrow scissors and just cut around that ear and then I'm cutting this back area as well 
then we're gonna go ahead and pull the ear out and then I'm gonna do the same on this side y'all so let's go ahead and lay this lace down I'm gonna use my wonder lace bond adhesive spray this one is in the supreme can and I'm gonna spray this around my entire hairline y'all and I'm gonna do the same on this side as well I'm gonna do two layers of spray today. I usually only do one, but I really want this to stick down and hold. So let's go ahead and pull down that lace before that adhesive spray dries. You want it to be tacky when you pull it down. So I'm gonna pull it down quite a bit in this middle area, and then we're gonna pull the sides down as well. And then I'm just gonna take my comb to make sure it's nice and melted. I'm gonna take my blow dryer and blow it dry. And I'm gonna do the same on this side as well, y'all. And then I'm gonna take my elastic melting band and I'm gonna tie it very tight around my hairline so that this lace can be nice and melted, y'all. So I'm gonna keep this on my head for about 15, 20 minutes and then I'll be back. So it's been about 20 minutes, y'all. Let's go ahead and take off this elastic band. Next, I'm gonna go ahead and take my scissors and I'm going to go around this entire hairline, y'all. So I'm just cutting in a zigzag motion, y'all. So if y'all notice this middle area, it's not adhered down. What I'm gonna do is just go ahead and pull out some of these hairs in the front and then we are gonna go around this area. My hairline doesn't go all the way down there, so I'm just gonna pull those pieces in the front out, as you can see. Just cut around that hairline, y'all. That looks a lot better, right? So I'm gonna take my Ebon Wonder Lace Bronze Spray again. Now I'm taking my Ebon Wonder Lace Bronze Spray again, and I'm spraying it in the areas that are not laid down, y'all. I already sprayed here in the middle, and then I'm gonna take my blow dryer on a cool setting and make sure it's nice and laid. <laughs> I'm gonna take a little bit of spray right here on this outer edge so that the edge of the lace can be laid by the ear tab area. And as you can see, the lace is nice and melted now, but it can be melted even more. I'm gonna go ahead and take this elastic melting band. I'm gonna go ahead and take this elastic melting band again. We're gonna melt the lace for another 10 minutes, and then I'll be right back, y'all. All right, let's go ahead and take off this elastic band and see what the wig is looking like now. Okay, it is looking nice and melted down. But listen, we can get it a little bit more melted. I know y'all are probably like, girl, how many times you gonna melt this wig? Listen, I want my wig to look melted today. I'm going in with the Ebon Wonder Lace Bond. Sometimes I do two melts and we're good. Sometimes I do three, but this right here takes it to a whole nother level, y'all, okay? So I just lightly spray this across the entire hairline where the lace is. I try not to get it on the hairs, but if you do, it's not a big deal. So now I'm gonna take my elastic melting band one more time. This is the last melt, I promise y'all. Tie it tight, let it sit on for 15 minutes, We'll be back. So I did my makeup off camera, y'all. So fire. This look is my full coverage makeup routine. I will link it up top as a card if you haven't already checked it out. I'm absolutely in love, obsessed. Skin is skinning. But can we get into this hairline?
hairline. Look at this hairline on this Wow African wig. And they pluck the hair just enough to where it looks natural, but it's not too thinned out. And the knots are already pre-bleached. Like, they look super bomb. So let's go ahead and style her up. Here is what we're working with. This is the natural yakky texture of the hair. It feels really nice and soft, y'all. So this wig is already in a middle parting, as you can see. Now you can part it further back. Listen, the parting goes all the way back there. Look at that. Are you freaking kidding me? And next I'm gonna take my Evan wax stick and just run it around this entire parting area. Then I'm gonna take my spritz spray and we're gonna spray that around the parting area as well. Next, I'm gonna take my Infinity Pro hot comb and we're going to flatten out the hair on that parting area. Now, mind you, this hair is yakky textured, so it's not gonna be like silky straight, like regular straight hair, but we're just trying to get it nice and tamed down. We want it to look like it's growing out of our scalp, like a fresh relaxer, y'all, okay? So as I mentioned, this hair is already layered. We're just gonna go ahead and flat iron it. If you have a blow dryer brush, use that. You can do like a fresh blowout with this this wig and it's gonna look super cute. So I'm just gonna use the flat iron, okay? I'm drinking a little raspberry sparkling wine from Cooper Hawk. I wish we had one in Atlanta. It's so good. But anyways, let's go ahead and flat iron this hair. I just kind of want to bump the ends on this hair a bit. Nothing too crazy, but I want those layers to show. She's looking cute. What do y'all think? So let's do the same thing on this side as well, y'all. As you can see, it's very easy to style this wig. If you're looking for a texture that just looks more natural than a straight, like silky straight wig, this is going to be it for you because it has texture to it. And although this hair is only 20 inches long, it gives you quite a bit of hang time, y'all. So here is the finished look, y'all. Let me know what you think about this wig in the comment section down below. Would you rock it? If you're interested in checking out this wig from Wild African, I will leave a link down below in the description box for you guys, as well as any coupon codes that they provide your girl with. If you have not already watched my latest video, be sure to click the box right here. I did a winter favorites video. I'm sharing all of my favorite beauty, wellness, and tech products. So definitely check that out next.